The recent big firmware update for the Mini 4 Pro brought a whole host of improvements and new functions, but it also introduced new remote ID functionality when using the Plus battery. And uh, whilst I did a video on that the other week, this new function has been causing some issues. I've had a few people get in touch complaining they couldn't use the Goggles 2 or the Motion Controller 2 with the Mini 4 Pro because they just get a hard block on taking off with a big red remote ID error on screen. Now this very same thing happened to me when I was trying to test the new firmware with the Mini 4 Pro and the Goggles 2. And it has been popping up for many people with different models, not just the Mini 4 Pro and in different scenarios. So I'm trying to work out exactly when and why it happens. And of course, crucially, how to fix it. When it happened to me, I was quite literally stuck on the ground. I just linked the Mini 4 Pro to the Goggles 2 and the Motion Controller 2 in the studio here because I was making the video for the main firmware upgrade. So having made sure that the drone, the Goggles 2 and the Motion Controller 2 were all linked, I went outside to uh, some nearby open heathland, ready to fly, got no further than switching on. The motors wouldn't even start up. The big red remote ID error making it clear I couldn't take off until I'd connected the drone to the fly app. And this was the annoying thing about it, as it already was connected to the fly app via the Goggles 2, because of course the Goggles 2 has got the fly app built in. Crucially though, it wasn't connected to my phone or the RC2. And that is the crux of this particular scenario, because the Goggles 2 hasn't got a GPS unit built in. Now, I've been using the RC and the RC2 remote for well over a year. I haven't bothered connecting my phone to a remote control for, yeah, over a year. So I certainly couldn't connect it on this particular day because I wasn't even carrying the right cable. Kind of a bit of a dog's breakfast, really, but in truth, you shouldn't actually see this error very often at all. So first off, when will it definitely happen? Well, I mentioned the Avata and the FPV, and that's because the Goggles and the Goggles 2 don't have a built-in GPS model, like I said, and the Fly app needs to know where the operator is located to determine whether or not it needs to be broadcasting the remote ID info. So if you're located in the United States, the Avata and the FPV is gonna ask you to connect to the Fly app by tethering to your phone before takeoff, or it'll simply flash up an error if you disconnect the Fly app uh, once you're already in flight. So you're still able to fly even though you've got this error. It can't just use the drone's GPS because most uh, remote ID requirements also require it to broadcast the operator's location. So connecting your phone is the workaround and if you're an Android user, you're usually going to have to download the Fly app from dji.com slash downloads rather than the um, App Store. And that can in itself mean that the app permissions for location services on the app may not be switched on. You've got to make sure it is by accessing the permissions tab for the app and then you should be good. But it is critical because the app needs to know where you are. So a messy but solid fix for when you're using the Goggles or Goggles 2. But one crucial point is that this should only affect users where remote ID is mandatory for models over 250 grams. So that's definitely the Avata and the FPV. But also the Mini 3 uh, Pro and the Mini 4 Pro if you're using the heavier plus battery for extended flight time. Like I said, it depends on the country. I mentioned the USA, but from the 1st of January 2024, now also affects you if you're in mainland Europe, where new um, EAS rules have just come into play, forcing drones or requiring drones heavier than 250 grams to broadcast remote ID information. So this is new, and now if you power up in a European country, you're gonna get a new field that you need to complete with your EASA operator ID and security code uh, from when you register. Um, Henrik over at Tech Drone Media made a nice simple video on getting this updated if you're in an EU country, so I'll link to that below. But to be clear, it's only required for models over 250 grams. So DJI Mini models using the standard battery should not need this. If you are using the heavier plus battery for extended flights, then things certainly do get a bit messier. To be clear, DJI still don't sell the Plus battery in Europe or the UK because they want to ensure the Mini 3 or the Mini 4 maintains its uh, C0 label status. And of course, the Plus battery being heavier would take it over 250 grams. But of course, a lot of us in the UK and Europe have managed to buy the Plus battery from uh, either the US or other online sellers. And this is where you can get called out with the new firmware switching on remote ID with a Plus battery. You might see it briefly flash up before the GPS lock on the RC2 remote, and it will usually disappear as soon as you get a proper GPS lock. 
It is more likely to be an issue when you're using uh, the goggles too and the motion controller too. And in my case, I did all the pairing inside the house where the drone had no GPS lock. It clearly got confused because when I went outside, nothing I could do would clear that error. Couldn't take off. Now, whether or not this was because I had paired inside the house uh, without GPS, or whether it was because I paired using the plus battery in the drone, I really don't know. But the only way I was able to fix this was by relinking the Mini 4 Pro back to the RC2 remote, then relinking it back to the Goggles 2 again without switching anything off and staying outside where I had a good GPS and making sure that I was using the standard battery. And this has cleared the remote ID error completely for me now. And I can use both the standard battery and the plus battery with the goggles too, without issue, because I'm not in the United States. So if you do get this error with the goggles too and the controller, first off, make sure you're using a standard battery. And if you're still stuck, relink it back to the RC2 remote, then back to the goggles and controller again, without switching anything off, and make sure you're outside to get good GPS, and you should be sorted as long as you're not in the United States. Because if you are in the United States, then yes, sadly, it's not an error at all. You simply have to tailor the goggles to, to your phone. There is no easy workaround for it. I did ask on the Grey Arrows drone form if anyone else was having this issue, and nobody else was actually using the Plus battery with the motion controller too. So um, that's why I'm actually asking you guys. I would love to know if any of you are also getting any remote ID error, and if you are, drop me a comment below. Let me know if you're using the plus battery or the standard battery and whether or not you're using the goggles uh, or, and whether or not it's the Mini 4 Pro or the Mini 3 or any other model that you can use the goggles or goggles too with. DJI is still looking at my flight logs to work out why this happened in the first place because not being in the United States, I shouldn't have got it in the first place. But that's why I'm trying to gather any other scenarios and see what other experiences people have got. And of course, if you haven't seen the Red Remote Idea at all, then great, uh, no dramas at all for you, but at least now you will know what to do if it does appear at some point in the future. Anyway, look, try to keep it short today. Like I said, drop a comment below if this has affected you, but otherwise, look, as ever, until next time, have fun, happy flying.